All right, my friends, what is going on? Welcome back to another video. My name is Jacob McDonald. This is my YouTube channel, and I am so grateful for you being here right now to enjoy this video with me uh, together. Now, this is my reaction as a rugby player. Yes, I played rugby in the year of 2020 here in Christchurch. I am a current rugby player. I am 30 years of age. My name is Jacob McDonald, and today I'm going to give you my unbiased, unfiltered reaction to the 10 biggest freaks of nature currently in the NFL. Now, if I don't recognize every single one of these players, having been a fan of the league for three years now, I'm going to be surprised. But at the end of the day, you learn something new every day. And I'm assuming we're going to learn something new about one, at least, of these 10 biggest freaks of nature currently in the NFL. These are the freaks of nature, guys. You know what? Every single fucking player that makes the NFL is a freak of nature in some kind of way. The genetic component of whatever position they do play on the field has to be huge. You know what I mean? They're God-given genetics from their parents. But at the end of the day, if you're six foot five in a bean pole, you can actually become a six foot five, 300 pounder. You've just got to put in the work. You've got to start eating, etc., etc. Now, I'm not sure what they mean by freak of nature. It's either going to be speed, strength, size, power. Who knows? Let's get into it. All is filled with the biggest, strongest, and fastest athletes in the world. We've uh, sorry, guys. My bad. If I went through this whole reaction without actually showing you what I'm watching, that would be tragic. But it's not the case. Let's go. Ties to the un the NFL is filled with the biggest, strongest, Khalil and Mack, fastest fuck he's athletes huge. in the world. <laughs> we become desensitized to the unexplainable things these Julio guys Jones, do the loudest player on the field. Tyreek Hill, fastest player on the field. Miles Garrett. Absolute freak of nature. The King, 2,000 yards for the eighth time in history. Football, Lamar Jackson. To make it in space Aaron Donald. Did we just see every single one of them? Of nature in the NFL George today. Kittle. Julio. George I'm liking Kittle. this. George Kittle is so much more than just the NFL's best blocking tight end. He's also one of the freakiest athletes we have in the NFL. He's skilled at He's got a four... Okay, are they going to... Uh, they may talk about his speed. If not, I'm going to tell you right now. He ran a 4-5-2, 40-yard dash, or a 4-5-4. Maybe even a 4-5-6. But when you think about it, at his... Actually, no. Look, if it was in the 4-4s, I wouldn't be surprised either. But at his size... To be running anything under a 4-6 at the position of tight end, that's lethal. That's a freak of nature. And quick, agile, a great receiver, a touchdown scoring machine, and he's almost impossible to bring down. He can even effortlessly jump and touch a 12-foot ceiling. Somehow, Kittle came from tight end U, the University of Iowa, and was still overlooked by 32 teams, falling to the fifth round. A normal basketball hoop is 10 feet. George Kittle touched a 12-foot ceiling. You've got to be fucking joking. Found in the 2017 draft at 6'4", 250, running a 4'5", 40. Kittle's athleticism was on display early. In his second Fuck. season, he broke the single-season tight end receiving record. The most impressive part of Kittle's record-breaking season was that he led all the players in the league with yards after the catch. He outmuscled, sped past, stiff-armed, and juked for 870 yards after the catch. Kittle's the friend you have that's just good at everything he tries. You know, if you're friend was the best tight end in the NFL, Khalil Mack. He's the fucking Khalil man, eh? I love George Kittle. I do. I wish he was back in the Super Bowl this weekend, but he's not. Now this guy is an absolute beast. Absolute freaking nature. Look at this cunt. Look at the size of him. Chucking full grown offensive linemen off their feet as he pummels the quarterback. With one arm, Mack recycled Tristan Wirfs. Oh my god, you're fucking joking me. Tristan Wirfs, he's over 300 pounds. As he possesses the best bull rush in the NFL. On his first night with the Chicago Bears, Max thirst for quarterbacks and superhuman genes put on a show on Sunday Night Football. He snatched the ball right out of Deshaun Kaiser's hands for a strip sack. The very next drive, Mac caught an incredible interception. Oh, and this guy's it. just. Khalil Mack's rare brand of freak. This guy's just everywhere. The cornerstone of the Bears franchise, Julio Jones. 
Julio Jones must have been in the league for so long that people have just become accustomed to his absurd abilities. Jones isn't talked about much among the best athletes in the NFL, when he clearly should be. It's like just because the Falcons lost the Super Bowl, we all forget the catch that Julio... Look how lean he is, man. Look how lean he is in the face. He's just a... He's just... Julio has been doing that since his days with Bama. I'll tell you what. I'll tell you what he is. Apparently... Well, six foot three, they're about to tell us. Uh, about six foot three, about 100 kg, 225, 230 pounds. But he is the loudest player on the field. He is the loudest wide receiver ever to play, apparently. As in his... <coughs> when he's moving, right? Which means two things to me. One, he doesn't give a fuck what anyone thinks. And two, he is even more explosive than those who don't make the sounds. Because when you think of boxers, when you think of fighters, when you think of Maria Sharapova, need I say more? Three <laughs> 220 pounds. Oh, 220. Is one of the most menacing receivers ever. Julio combines size with 4.3. Look at speed, that speed. Nightmare. He's also a walking 100 yard game. No, literally. He averages 96 receiving yards a game. That's ridiculous. His, his whole entire career, he's averaging 96 receiving yards. Huh? Jones catch radius makes him Matt Ryan's best friend. All you have to do is throw it near Julio's zip code and he snags it. Julio is what happens when a 99 percentile athlete has all the skills to go along with it. You get a first ballot Hall of Fame freak of nature. Saquon. I'll tell you what, having followed the league the last year, I heard nothing of Julio Jones. Did you guys? Barkley. Have you seen? I did hear something about this. This guy. Okay. Look, I feel blessed. I feel blessed to have come into the game. Um, as a fan at the time I did because of because of guys like this and the trajectory that his career was on until he got injured I feel like he will come back even bigger and stronger than ever and when you got legs like that really is there any other choice Dean Saquon Barkley's quads they're not just the size of tree trunks they're the size of redwoods you need the legs the size of Barkley to make seven USC defenders miss on Okay, look at the thickness of this picture. Look at that. Is that is that picture squashed? Is that picture stretched? Because I'm telling you right now, I've never seen calves and thighs as thick as that on a guy six foot and as lean as he is. Unless they're on a bodybuilding stage. I'm not going to lie the size of Barkley to make seven USC defenders miss on one play. In his time at Penn State, he not only became a legend oh, football, come on, give him a chance. Room, as he set the power clean record, throwing up 495 pounds. pounds. I saw that. This is one of the first... 225 pounds for 30 reps. No. And squatted 525 pounds for five reps. Barkley runs a 4.340 at six foot, 230 pounds. Well, excuse me, mate. I wouldn't say it's 4.3 flat. But I'd say he might be a 439. And some of those early weightlifting clips are some of the first things I actually saw of Saquon Barkley when I first looked at his top 10 plays for Penn State, believe it or not. That was the first video I watched of Saquon Barkley back in the day. I've watched a fair few since. He was still in college at that point. We saw him get drafted. We've seen him ball out and we've seen him get injured. Did he get the rookie of the year? He might have got the offensive rookie of the year. Let me check that. He did. The NFL Offensive Rookie of the Year. He can stop on a dime, blow past defenders, and even bring the truck stick. But his special <laughs> The truck stick. Now he can bring legs all that and right more. Tacklers, but the speed, the breakaway speed. Walk. You see, when you're in the running back position, right? When you're in the running back position, and you can break a tackle, and you've got the speed to burn. Good luck stopping him. Zone. In his first season in New York, he had 2,000 scrimmage yards, a rookie record, and 15 touchdowns. But nobody talks about his second year, where he came back from a nasty high ankle sprain to have 1,400 scrimmage yards. If Saquon stays healthy, there's little to no doubt he will dominate the Look NFL. at the king. Lamar Jackson. Lamar ja can we just... Can we just... Can we just stop for a second? Can we just stop for a second? If Saquon stays healthy, there's little to no doubt he will dominate. Look at this motherfucker. Look at this guy. Multi-millionaire. Absolute global superstar. Well, in America. One of the most impressive 40-yard dashes you'll ever see. And, and the NFL Offensive Rookie of the Year. He is currently out on injured reserve. All I can say, Saquon, is continue 
to uh, believe in yourself, continue to rehab that knee effectively. In fact, come to think of it, Saquon put out a little message earlier this, this year, possibly late last year, um, saying that all us guys with knee injuries at the moment, grinding to get back in the league, we need, to, we need to link up, we need to work out together. And I haven't seen anyone else out there with a knee injury or with an injury of any kind put a call out like that to get people together to, to, to train. I mean, whether I've got an injury or not, I'm coming down, bro. Nate, the NFL, Lamar Jackson. Lamar Jackson is on this list for far different reasons than the others. Lamar is quite possibly one of the fastest players in the league. Reportedly running a 4.3440 at Louisville back in 2017. Of course. Trying to tackle him is like trying to catch the wind. Jackson isn't a very strong player, but his ability to cut on a dime or spin out of tackles is second to none. The Ravens have built their entire offense around Lamar Jackson's unique ability. Even when it looks like he should hand it off on the read option, Jackson pulls the the ball and slithers past opponents with ease. Jackson's running style looks like it's being played at two times the speed and everyone else is on normal time. To make matters worse for Ravens opponents, Jackson has a rocket arm that is pinpoint accurate when he's set. The only comparison to Jackson is Michael Vick. It is. That's Vick exactly wasn't right. Really as far along a passer at Jackson's age. In his MVP season, Lamar's abilities helped the Ravens become the greatest rushing offense in the history of football. When you put into perspective how much more prevalent running the ball was, I actually just saw Michael Vick in the last video. The all-time rushing number is a testament to Lamar I never realized he was that fast. Freaky abilities. Tyreek Hill. You've probably heard the term track speed. Oh, he's got track speed on the football field. Well, how about gold medalist Olympic speed? <laughs> Who is this narrator? Who the fuck is this guy? <laughs> that is exactly what Tyreek... And how many takes does it... How many takes does he do to get every single line of this recording? Because I'm telling you guys... Tyreek's got track speed. Tyreek Hill has. Hill is yes. He's without a doubt the fastest player in the NFL, and arguably the fastest player the league has ever seen. Appropriately nicknamed the Cheetah. Hill Incorrect. Incorrect, my friend. Incorrect. Bullet Bob Hayes is the fastest man the NFL has ever seen, and he is a multiple Olympic gold medalist. Past the plane of the end zone is a nightmare for defenses all over the league. In fact, NFL teams build their entire game plan around Hill's blazing speed. There's not a combine run to quantify his speed, but at his pro day in 2016, some scouts hand-timed him at 4.21 in the 40. Even when Tariq doesn't have the ball. Now, I respect that. I do respect that. An... You know, when I think about hand times, I'm like, yes, did you really get it? But these guys are hand-timing guys time after time after time after time they know if they got it wrong they know if they got it right and if they think he ran a 4.21 then he ran a 4.21 84 yard damian williams touchdown run he ran up to catch up and celebrate clocking in at an amazing 22 i saw that one miles it's ridiculous hour. you can visually see hill running like everyone else is in slow motion cruising by defenders trying to get the ball carrier the his height his height has to be honestly the most the perfect height athletes. For someone with that kind of speed and Miles agility, Garrett. Miles Garrett is the most he slips under tackles. Freak in the NFL, a man at 270 pounds should not be leaping over other men and doing windmill dunks in his spare time. <laughs> windmill dunks. Unmatched on the line of scrimmage, he's long and strong. Oh, that's something his else. First step dominates blockers and resets the line of scrimmage. While he's still developing as a defensive lineman, Garrett can get by on just his pure freak athleticism alone. Now, as arguably the fastest get off of. When we think of Miles Garrett, we think about the helmet. The inhuman power that allows him to box jump while holding a pair of 40 pound dumbbells the explosiveness of a 6 4 270 pound man who runs a 4.4 in the 40 right i'm gonna stop you there you guys try holding dumbbells in your hand and doing any type of jump any type of activity certainly not a fucking four or five foot box jump i didn't expect to see that kind of rig underneath that top, mate. Well, well done, mate. Well done. Respect. But don't go hitting anyone else with your helmet. Made him a unanimous first overall pick. And he's the last guy you Unbelievable. want to be in the dark alley. DK Metcalf. Oh. To show what kind of a monster DK Metcalf Let's go. is, we have to start with the pre combo <laughs> This is the first fight. This is the first inkling anyone got of DK Metcalf before he even came into the league, before he ran a combine, before he did anything. Well, actually, he prob probably was killing it at, at Ole Miss. Um, 
but I certainly wasn't aware of that and and a lot of you guys probably weren't either until this very photo came out now I don't know what to make of this shit if I saw him for the very first time I'd say are you natty fuck no but maybe he is pictures normal humans don't look like that they just don't if we look they like just that don't. we'll never wear a shirt okay that's this is one of the most that's one of the greatest moments we've ever seen pete carroll signs dk dk comes in no top on well pete carroll does the same thing absolutely legendary moment if i was the head coach of a team and i had dk metcalf coming in i'd have to do the same i mean it's just it's just it's just it is ridiculous it is almost unbelievable how good DK Metcalf looks without a top on. And to be able to run a 4-3-3 flat like that. And to be able to... I mean, he's six foot three. The guy is a fucking Adonis. He is the American football version of Anthony Joshua in boxing. And for that, what do you even say? What 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 is there left to say? Like, seriously. It isn't just a 6'3", 228-pound behemoth with 5% body fat. He's one of the league's fastest receivers as well. He showed it with a 4.340 time at the Combine. DK can just outrun defenders. If his speed isn't fast enough, his 40-inch vertical... Do you want to watch that again? Jump over corners. Do you want to watch that again? Because I do. He's fastest receivers as well. He showed it with a 4.340 time oh, at the Combine. Oh, look at DK that shit. Outrun defenders. I'd if forgotten. I had forgotten enough, what that looked like. Inch vertical leap to jump over corners. 40 inches vertical. If you can just jam him at the line, well, good luck. Metcalf's 27 reps on the bench press is more than any receiver in recent history. Quite simply, DK Metcalf makes you believe in the unbelievable. Like maybe aliens are already here on Earth. He's the league's largest receiver. And when he's not running past defensive backs, he's hawking What a down. moment. Sorry, what a bigger. moment Aaron that Donald. was. Aaron Donald was told before the draft he was too small to be an elite defensive lineman in the NFL. Opinions like that are why people get fired. Donald makes up for some slight size concerns by being built like Hercules and possessing the fastest feet in the NFL. He broke the 40-yard <laughs> dash record for defensive tackles at a ridiculous 4.6. 4 4.6 seconds, 285 pounds. Yes, he's 6'1", but that means that he can get up and underneath a lot of these offensive tackles offensive lineman so he is a little bit of a hybrid and officially one of the 10 biggest freaks of nature in the nfl he can bench 500 pounds right can you imagine this guy all right all of these you know a lot of these defensive linemen can probably bench quite a lot but 500 pounds is 500 pounds and if that motion of of benching is what you actually have to use over and over again in the game your job in the game is is literally continually doing that against your opposite man i mean you're gonna go well you're gonna go well I'm going to say right now, if Aaron Donald wanted to, he could launch me. He could launch me with one hit. I'm going to say, look, if, we, if we're thinking feet, I'm going to say, I'm going to say a good 15 feet. That right. 280 pounds running a 4.6 but donald's long distance speed isn't even as impressive as his reaction speed he darts and cuts through blockers like a knife through butter obliterating plays sometimes at the handoff the old saying if you can't block him hang on it's not tom brady is it obliterating plays 12 for the patriots but it's not tom brady this must be in the last season sometimes at the handoff the old saying if you can't block them read them doesn't really work on aaron donald either with the short area quickness of a running back donald somehow plays both sides of a read option run changing direction if his first choice is wrong aaron put aaron donald, donald in at running back speed, guys though he is the ultimate combination concept. of speed and strength considering he benches upward of 500 pounds and can lift grown men off the ground like children part of donald's pure freak ability is his certifiably insane workouts he's even been seen improving his hand speed by dodging knives aaron donald what what make you take a second <laughs> look player in the league and he's definitely the blunt knives i hope defender derrick henry there's never been anyone quite like Derrick Henry. He's a 6'4", 250 pound running back, larger than every linebacker, and not much smaller. Oh than my God! Player. Not to mention, he runs a legitimate 4.5. So a guy that towers over defenders. Look at this guy. I love the way he runs. He's so upright, isn't he? He's so upright. Reminds me of Jared Hayne back in the day. 
to stop a freight train. He's almost impossible to bring to the ground in the open field and has arguably the greatest stiff arm in NFL history. Just ask that Josh defender Norman ain't getting Thomas, anywhere near him. anybody on the Jacksonville Jaguars. Henry's freakish ability has terrorized Jacksonville since he was in high school. Once you're done with this video, go look at Derrick Henry's high school football highlight tape. Henry only gets better as the game goes on. Or maybe the opposing team just gets tired of tackling him. Derrick Henry's high school football highlight tape. Is until he breaks Got away it. from them and they don't realize how strong he is until they're flying through the air. Derrick Henry defies human physiology. And for that, he's one of the NFL's biggest freaks of nature. So there you have it. The biggest, freakiest players in the NFL. Who's your favorite player on this list? And did we leave anybody out? Let me know in the comments down below. If you well, all right then. Let's go down to the comments down below. Who did you leave out, mate? Who did you leave out? Uh, th this voice should be broadcasted all over the world. Holy moly, all these likes. I only get like three every time, so thank you. Oh, he's been edited. I'll give you another one. Um, if, I saw, if I saw a shirtless man that was built like DK, I would run. <laughs> or welcome him into your NFL team. Uh, normal humans don't look like that. They just don't. Lamar does not have pinpoint accuracy. <laughs> Look, he said he's got pinpoint accuracy when he's set. Okay? When he's set. Now, my friends, that's enough. Well, it's enough for this morning. I am going to edit these two videos up and put them on my channel as fast as possible. Guys, I'm looking at you right now. Right here, right now. The Super Bowl is in four short days. I cannot wait. I will be here a good two hours before the coverage starts, before the actual game starts. So all I can say is I hope to see you here. Look, let me know down in the comment section below. Who is the biggest freak of nature right now and who is going to win the Super Bowl? Give me your score prediction. I'm going to look through these comments, have a bit of fun. That's what this is about, man. That's what this channel is about. That's what this game is about. If you're not playing it, it's all about fun. If you're playing it and you can still have fun, good on you. Because there's a few players, in fact, my most favorite players can still have a bit of fun out there, but also fucking play their hearts out, you know what I mean? My favorite players in any sport are the ones that can turn it on when need, when need be, but also turn it off at the end of the game. And with that being said, thank you for watching. Consider subscribing, consider liking the video, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace out, guys.